Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in StarMade. So what exactly is going on today? Well, we are here. Here is our salvager. I've been doing a little bit of work on it. I filled in the, the cannons there. I filled in the missile tubes. I still have to do more cannons, unfortunately, in here, as you can tell. But yeah, I haven't really combat tested this thing yet. I've been adding in some more shield rechargers and all that fun stuff. So that way we can do that. And I'm trying to record here with the family that's probably busy and who knows. Hopefully you won't hear anything in the background. But yeah. <laughs> so it is the, in the nature of our house. So here over here is kind of like... I dressed up our little storage area here with the the construction here. This is kind of like our starter area. Um, we have this kind of starter thingy here. I'm not sure power generation, whatever storage, with the faction module there. So I got these lights all lit up here. I added a light here on the side so I know where to access this. This is all going to change. I'm not sure how exactly this is all going to look on the bottom of the ship. Because, you know, the blocks might have to go out one or two more blocks down. So the design of the bottom of the ship will change. These engines are completely required for all of the, the components here. And if this is not enough, then I'm going to add another set of uh, cells on the outside. So how will I do that? So let's kind of take a run over this way. Yeah, so I'll probably just kind of put another set of cells here in the middle kind of smaller cells that stretch out you know, up to the middle of the ship again and we'll see how that goes so yeah so that will be interesting down here we have the internals nothing really down there yet that's more of a surprise that's for like another video so now I'll show you what I've been doing here so we're gonna run back over here I've been crafting all kinds of your goodness and goodies so that way we can take this and sell it um, everything that I have is being stored in here which you know then uh, these are all the cargo units before that undetonator of course and the capsule refinery we got the build block here and then this is our general kind of your docking area that we have and so now let's hop onto the the ship here and open that up boom just hop it ah come on <laughs> okay there we go so here we have the interior of the ship not done yet but you know, here we have a couple cargo holds still not done I'm gonna encase them and then that way I might put a teleporter around the corner here or over here I'm not 100% sure I kind of want a teleporter so that way we can get to and from the base here back here we have the back door right back here we got the back door All right so we can go in and out of there I got those as blast doors because I kind of like the look of them then we kind of come up here and this warp drive mechanism will come all the way across there and I think it's going to come all the way across down in the bottom there as well I like how it looks. This is the warp drive computer You're back here? I figure, or jump drive. I figure it makes sense. And I'm not sure what's going to be in the middle of the ship here. This is just kind of a walkway for now. And then this is, of course, the cockpit area and with all the computer systems. Let's sit down in our chair here. Okay, cool. I'm going to hop into my ship core. So this is kind of what I've been doing, right? We've been building, adding on. And so now I'm, I'm going to do a run to try and buy some more of these um, advanced armor blocks because that's what I've been using. And we're going to see if we're running out of thruster power because I have a funny feeling I might have to build those extra engine cells, but I'm not sure. I've been trying to kind of squeeze in the power into here somehow. So, yeah, we'll see once I encase this central part to see what happens. Let's hop into here. Let's actually decouple. 
I've also added some more computer systems and whatnot. Yeah, so it looks like we can take off. You can see our velocity is increasing. And looks like our power is good. How about if we turn the radar jamming on? Oh, now our power gets drained. I guess the radar jamming takes time or takes a lot of energy, which is interesting. So we might be able to combat that with more kind of power cells or more storage cells. I've got our cannon computers, bang, we'll have to test those. I got our missiles, which should be heat seeking missiles as well. So we'll have to test those out as well. It looks like they don't use too much power. That uses a lot of power. You two shots from that. So we might just kind of want to use it like a shotgun. That's interesting. The missiles will be more what we fire, I think. Well, we'll see. We'll see how combat goes. We have a jump drive computer, which we should be charging at all times. And let's go map. Where are we going to go? Well, we want to buy some more advanced armor blocks, right? So let's go to this shop right here. Plot path to current. Since it is a distance, we'll pick the jump drive. We'll start charging the jump drive computer. Let's get into position here. Got 65 kilometers. So yeah, so this is what I've been doing. I've basically been, you work on my ship at the base and been traveling you to and fro, you're buying components with the, the cash that I have, and yeah, so we'll do a little bit of building here, so once this jump drive, this is why we need more jump drive modules, because I th think with more modules we'll be able to have a better, a quicker you charge, I think, so yeah, because the power, it doesn't matter, we got tons of power, so power's not an issue, looks like, so now we can you warp, and I forgot to slow my speed down. So during warp, we can actually slow down. And yeah, here we are in the vicinity of a couple of shops. Uh, let's see where we go, right there. So let's slow the ship down. I have to charge a bit of power. <laughs> okay, there we go. With the Newtonian physics, it's very, very, very interesting how you can kind of change the direction of your ship, which is pretty cool. I kind of like that. So here we are. We can speed up a bit. Actually, yeah, the engines are doing pretty good. Turning is not too shabby. It doesn't feel very clunky. It is a large ship after all. It's not too large of a ship, but it's it's there kind of realign with this. Is that an asteroid there nearby? We might have to take care of the asteroid as well. Because I do like to take care of the asteroids around these places since we do have the cargo space. Uh, let's kind of slow down here a bit. I'm going to have a drink of my drink. Yeah, and this is it. This is what Starmade's like here on this server. Just amazing. I'd just like to, to shout out to everyone on the server. Yeah, thanks for having me come along on the ride here. Thanks for allowing me to hop on and <laughs> cause some havoc here in, in your own realm, your own universe. So yeah, it should be good, should be good times. I want to explore kind of what StarMate has to offer and as well as play with all of you guys. So yeah, so it's going to be great. So here we are. So now... This is what I've been doing, just kind of click and drag to sell, bang, and click and drag to sell that, bang, look at that, now we got 484,000, so we need some more jump drives, so we should count them, because we don't want to buy too many jump drives, so let's see here, jump drives, so we need, we have one, right? So we need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So wait, 16, 15, because we got one. 15. Yeah, and then right here somewhere. 15, 16, 17, 18, 
I think something like that. 39 maybe? So we need to buy 39. Jump drive. Jump drive. Ah, they got tons of modules here. So 39. 39,000. Okay, we got that. Perfect. And let's outfit that stuff right now. We got 40. Let's make sure we put in a symmetry plane. I like to put it right along this spot right here. Okay, so that's put in. Now we can place in our jump drives. Let's finish off this jump drive. We should have our jump drive computer selected. Because if not, this is all going to be a waste of time. And yeah, look at that, look at that. Right here. See, on this side, it's missing a couple. There we go, okay. So I might need to buy two more jump drives. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Let's put these guys in here. And this is all I've been doing. I've been kind of just kind of working on the ship. Sometimes I kind of tweak things. I kind of work on things internally. I hop outside, work on it externally. And as I get the components and pieces, that's kind of what I've been doing. It's been kind of... I've been kind of going more of a survival organic build. I haven't really been... I kind of drew this, this ship out before I started, but it's kind of deviated greatly since the the original design that I've I've come up with with this ship. Yeah, we're going to need to buy two more. Two more jump drives. One, two. Okay. I think that is it. I think we got all the jump drives in place. And there you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so next thing's next. We deselect that. I've been kind of placing more of these modules. This is where I've, I've hidden. So this is the B module to make it homing. This is for the Canon computer to make it explosive. And there's still room down here for more systems. So I'm kind of just experimenting with the positioning of that stuff. Okay, so we still need to put in a scanner because I think that's how you get uh, like the amount of materials within stuff so let's buy 10 of these I think buy amount 10 of them and let's install this scanner antenna so scanner computer can we move the scanner computer I don't like where it's positioned I like to see the scanner in action like so so let's take off the plane we do that I want to put it right there hopefully it doesn't matter on the orientation the only blocks uh, to me that matter I think are these three the cannon the salvage and the missile you know whichever orientation you have is the direction that it'll it, it will fire in so I think that's my understanding of it so now we need to place an antenna somewhere well pretty easy the antenna I don't like how it looks can we r rotate the block ah can't rotate it that's that sucks <laughs> that's okay though we can kind of hide it I'm gonna put it right in here two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten. Now I'm not sure how this works exactly, so we'll have to experiment with that. But I'm thinking we can use it. So let's see here. Okay, we got that. So let's go by. Let's kind of check some armor here. Black, advanced. Ooh, advanced. How about black paint? I only have twenty six of them 
because we will have to build our own blocks eventually so that will be interesting okay so let's kind of go on a little mining spree here let's zoom back into our ship which it does the auto roll absolutely I don't like it so how do I find asteroids I saw somebody you know, use this and push a button and up comes squares of all the the different little I think these are called sectors and this is like a system right and so in this system there's these little sectors and they're they're huge but there's a way to get these to come up and I can't remember me for the life of me I've even tried to look at the commands if I go out of here if I go slash I even tried to look at this and I don't think drop by an orbit cam backslash that's interesting have to remember that hold right shift see free cam double tab right shift double tab right shift or double tap right shift that's interesting I wonder how that works <laughs> oh man um, reset orientation we know that one rotate weapon assignment see it's not all there it's just the kind of the quick keys but anyways we'll just do it the hard way here so where do I want to go let's go somewhere a little bit different so I've been kind of doing some mining we got a trade station there let's kind of see what this station is all about so let's plot path to it we're actually just going to fly towards there now we're rotating the ship here um, I need to charge this this jump drive so now the jump drive charges a lot faster and uses a lot more power not to mention I kind of was thrusting as I was charging so if we just do the one then it doesn't matter it seems so yeah it looks like we need more jump drives so it's not charging fast enough still for me I still find it very slow oh yeah we got a new system uh, where is it scanner where are we scanner computer not sure how this works but maybe we can turn it on a scanner signal sector interrupt your cloak and jamming systems that is interesting and then it charges up and then we can do that why is the radar jammer that is interesting you think it it takes me out of cloak or you know, out of jamming that's interesting or did I run out of power we'll have to do that again and see how that works not sure how that works exactly so yeah so now our jump drive is charged and we could do a jump there not sure how dangerous that would be so I tell you what I'm gonna f I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fly there manually and when I get there we will come right back so yeah so as I was flying here I remembered I should go into this panel here I did change this round I did increase the forward thrust more than the left and right and up and down and I also increased the rotational thrusters so that way I have better rotation on this larger ship and it seems to have done the, the trick oh shoot <laughs> I did not want to fire the missiles but that's okay scary okay cool so yeah we're going to come up to our target here soon and hopefully we will see something sh sh show up in our oh oh it's pirate station woo Ooh, we gotta change course change course uh, man but we do have our dumb fire missiles come on come on come on let's oh man I don't see anything happening okay cool pirate station delta I wonder if that means it's like a lower kind of level thing let's make sure we're facing in this direction let's go map pirate station delta okay 
Let's go in this direction, plot path to current. Let's kind of change our direction here. Let's make sure we're we are flying away from that pirate station. Woo, that's pretty cool. At least we know it's a pirate station, which we'll have to take care of at some point. I do want to try and take out some regular uh, pirates, but that time will come eventually. Not sure if this ship will be able to handle it. I'm hoping that the missiles will be able to do enough damage to just pound the crap out of them. But yeah, here we're going to use our jump drive, actually. I'm going to slow down a bit. I'm going to go to about 100, and we're going to use our jump drive. Wow. Should I use my jump drive? That's the question. Huh. You know what? Screw it. We'll just... We'll use it. We can always kind of duck out of there. We can always... Whoa. Whoa. Lag, lag. Lag. Where is it? Where is it? How close are we? Oh, that's fairly close. And now we are being attacked. So... Let's do maneuvers. Let's charge up the jump drive. Uh, shields are going back up. Okay, we're charging up our drive. Let's see where we, we, we still have it clicked. Um, okay, I don't see any more. So now we can probably come to a stop. Oh wait, there's missiles still. But that's okay. I think we're... We're far enough away. Oh. Well, power failure. Oh yeah, because I'm not paying attention. Let's turn this on. Okay. Okay, I think we're okay. Whew. Okay, so definitely do not jump near systems. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. We actually went into this neighboring system here. We went a little bit too far. But how did we not discover that station? That's okay. So now what I want to do, I want to actually go to this shop here. That's actually pretty close to the Delta. Let's go over here. Let's plot path to that. Yeah, that would be a good spot to go to. Let's check this out. Okay, and we can actually use our jump drive again. Let's slow down a bit here. Don't want to go too fast. In case you have to do maneuvers. And let's warp to the next destination. We can actually start charging right from warp. Okay, slow down a bit here. Don't see anything on the radar. Perfect. Slow down here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Is that what I think I see? Let's check this out. So there's a way of making these things show up on targeting. Again, I'm not sure how. Uh, let's go map. So I don't see... Okay. So we're going to fly towards these asteroids here see what kind we got is there any more in the distance uh, we'll see which ones are here and go from there but yeah but there's a way to get these to show up on your targeting let's slow down here a bit let's use this scanner computer here again let's see what happens Check your navigation. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Where? 
Oh shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They're they're leading me. Okay, we need to hurry up. Read our jammer. Read our jammer. Come on, come on, come on. Bang. Okay, we're a little bit safe for now. Oh man, where's those asteroids? <laughs> oh, that's so scary. So where the heck? There's a shop here. Come on, come on. Man. Pirate ships everywhere, or pirate bases. Let's see, come on, stop. Gonna charge up here again. Come on. There we go. <laughs> this is power. It's because of the jammer. There we go. Newtonian physics. For the win okay there we go Whew. so yes yeah, so there you go folks this is what I've been doing just flying around been harvesting we've been you're doing a little bit of adventuring here kind of straying away it looks like there's a couple shops here not sure which station attacked us indiscriminately probably this one here but yeah so all I'm going to do is going to carry on, going to buy pieces. I wanted to kind of show you me building, but yeah, it, it, a lot of it has been harvesting. A lot of it has been kind of just doing this. So obviously that scanner is a bad thing to do. It knocks out everything. So it looks like this would be some lucra. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. In the next one, I think we're going to do a little bit of base building. Kind of have an idea of what I want to do with the the ramp kind of going down into the base. So that's kind of the first order of business. We'll have to kind of do that. And set the logic for that. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. And in the meantime, I'm going to harvest this, this asteroid here. And yeah, and I'll meet you all back at the base. Bye-bye.